Hi everyone, welcome to Straight from the Divine Tarot. We're Thursday, April 27th, 2023. I'm here to do a collective read for you guys. It's a timeless read, as you know. I don't use the signs, I don't use the genders because it's all energy anyway. So if this is your read, you're gonna know from the uh, description of the characters as well as the storyline. So take what applies, toss the rest, don't try to make things fit, please. I will be using the he and she pronoun just to keep it straight in my head, no other reason. Uh, know that it is a general read. Not every read is going to be for you, okay? I will bring out the tarot card. I'll give you the description of the cards as it comes out, as well as what I'm picking up intuitively. You know your story best. It could be all the descriptions, summer one, and then we bring it together at the end, okay? Please like, share, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell if you haven't already, so you know when I upload. And know that I am truly grateful that you are here. Thank you. I truly appreciate each and every one of you. Dragon Soul came out. Let's try this again. Spirit guides, guardian angels, ancestors, white light, how are we to begin the read for today, please? What is the message for the collective? Yep, see. We have Keeper of Scales, Fairness and Balance, beautiful, 38. So that's 11 in tarot, okay? This is justice, okay? Balancing the scales, truth's coming out. This is also karma, okay? So something wasn't balanced, wasn't fair. Could have been amoral or, or criminal, so let's see where it goes. Bottom of the deck, Rainbow Prince, 26. That's an eight in tarot. Strength and courage, integrity, loyalty and honesty, resilience, self-respect, self-control, self-awareness, compensation and perseverance. So you had to overcome quite a lot, right? Really resilient. But you kept your integrity. That's what I'm picking up. So the divine has made it a, a promise to you that you will be compensated for what you've gone through. And it looks like time is here. Pardon me. So that's the um, overarching energy. This is the underlying energy of the, of the read, right? It's beautiful. Dreamwalker, dreams, the collective good, and illusions. Eight again, eight, eight. So abundance is near. Um, it's for the best, whatever this is, for the collective good, okay? So something wasn't right, wasn't just or fair. Keeper of the scales, fairness and balance, 38. Please clarify that, please, fair guides. Guardian angels, thank you. Temple of my body, too. Could be a high priestess, male or female, doesn't matter. Very intuitive. There could have been a lot of lies and secrets and illusions here. Okay. Mm -mm -mm. Temple of my body. You need to be of sound mind, heart, body, spirit, and soul. I just heard really balanced. So now that you've balanced everything out in your life, I think this is coming through for you. The divine wanted you to be balanced for some reason. I mean, obviously, for you to get something that was that's your destiny that is something of value high value the divine wants you to be balanced because if you're not then you're not going to hold on to what he gives you you know what i'm saying right something's going to be lacking or if somebody's in your world that shouldn't be they're going to use you and that's not for them okay the comp the, the what the divine gives you is not for other people it's for you or you could be a high priestess, like I said, very intuitive, very balanced between your dark and light, masculine and feminine. You have a connection with the divine, right? All knowing, all seeing. You don't speak much, though, but you definitely know and you observe. You could be a card reader as well. Bottom of the deck, alone in the world, number six. You used your higher wisdom, that's for sure. You could be surrounded by people, but you feel alone because they're not like you. They're not on the same frequency. You bear your soul to everybody. There's nothing to hide. But for some reason, nobody tells you the truth. That's what I'm just picking up. They hide a lot from you. But you bear your soul. They expect you to bear your soul. Tell me the truth. I want to know everything. How much money do you make? Where do you get your money from? Who are you seeing? Right? They don't tell you jack shit because they're always lying. And, and there's secrets behind your back all the time. So you feel alone. I get it. I get it. Yeah, forgetting oneself, 17. So this is wish fulfillment. This is divine protection. You could be a healer. You could be out in the public eye. You're very balanced in healing, maybe. This is wish fulfillment. Your wish fulfillment, your wishes are going to be coming true, whatever this is. Keeper of the scales, 38. Temple, ooh, that's too many. Too many, too many. Put it back, put it back, put it back. Sorry. Keeper of the scales, 38. Temple in my body, too. Why is this here? One more for clarity, please, spirit guides. Guardian angels, ancestors, the white light. Why is this here for the collective, please? Oh, my hands are dry. The cards are slipping out of my hands. I like you. Someone likes you. Romance is blooming, fun, flirting, want a date. So somebody, mm, I think you already know, date. <laughs> 
How often does that happen? You know the cards don't lie. Date, meeting someone new, dating back, getting back out there, plans set a date. You're, you're, I think you're too divine. And six here, right? Alone in the world. Number six is lovers. So I think you're higher level soulmates coming through. This is a promise you made in the ethers. Wow, wow, wow. I think you're both uh, in alignment now. You had to have both get in alignment to do this. The Phoenix Rising. I love this. Wedding rings. Wow. This is a resurrection. This is past life soulmate and or twin. Okay. It's here. <laughs> Can't make this stuff up. Uh, Keeper of the scales. 38. Temple of my body. So be, be in alignment. Heart, mind, body, spirit, and soul, please. I like you. Maybe you're in alignment with one another. You're both high priestesses, meaning you're both intuit intuitive. Maybe you're both card readers. I don't know. Take it as a place. <laughs> you're both mirroring each other, in other words, right? What's the message here for the collective? You don't have to be a card reader, by the way. You're just high priestess, you know. Maybe you've never spoken in this realm before. I mean, obviously in the 5D, you speak all the time. You're in connection, but... Maybe that's why the high priestess is there. But get in alignment, both of you, whoever this is. Somebody likes you, they're going to ask you out for a date. What's the message? Please, please. <laughs> Hermit reverse. That could be truth coming out and or be more social. Asking somebody out on a date or going out on a date. Can't make it out. Okay, so we have... Somebody put up some strong boundaries, right? This was emotional wounding here. Nine out of uh, ten rods. Um, maybe this is relationships. Maybe nine out of ten rods. You've been deeply hurt. It doesn't have to be love relationships. It could be any kind of relationships. But maybe you're very leery right now. Pardon me, or maybe both of you are. Um, you went through a lot. You persevered. There's a lot of emotional wounding that bandages there, right? You're side eyeing somebody. You could have your walls up. It could be very karmic relationships you were dealing with, right? Wow. Maybe you're looking at somebody going, "Are they karmic? Are they not? Uh, I don't know." Maybe this is somebody that likes you. They want to figure you out. They're trying to. Nine of Wands in the upright. But you, your walls are up. Um, yeah, it left out in the cold. Somebody's blocked you or blocking somebody. You blocked them. They're out in the cold. Some truths have come out about this is obviously a past relationship. Somebody left you out in the cold or you left somebody out in the cold. You're paranoid now or you're paranoid. You don't want to be left in the cold anymore. This could be past, present, or future, okay? Nine of Wands in the upright. Five of Pentacles in the upright. Why is this here for the collective? Thank you. There's been nothing but lies. No more communication. Lie. No no clarity. Maybe you never got... Like, in my situation, in my most of my relationships, love, family, friends, whatever. Whatever went down, I never got clarity. They never gave me that closure. So I had to give it to myself. I had to learn over and over again. I don't need... I know the truth. I don't need their truth. Because it's always their truth is always bullshit anyways. So I got my own closure. Yeah. So re reversal of fortune. This is, um, they try to slow you down with lies maybe. But this is karma. Mm -mm -mm. You let them go. This, this is not your destiny. This was not your fate. Maybe you thought at one point it was. It was not. If it's a relationship, okay. Somebody's getting some karma. Um, you have to close out old cycles in order to open up new ones. So maybe that's what you were in the process of doing. It could be love, friends, family, work. So you have to close these cycles out in order to start new ones, okay? So somebody's at the bottom of the karmic wheel. Maybe you've been there. I know I've been there a few times, okay? You don't want to go there anymore. Get it. I get it. You know? Because love has a funny way of making you blind and do things and say things you would not normally do, right? Yeah, moon. Could be some uh, fear here. Lies, illusions. Um, very emotional, maybe. Five of Swords. Somebody had a grudge against you. Embarrassed and disgraced. Um, it looks like, to me, 
their lights are coming back on them. They're scared. There, there was a lot of illusions. They were wearing masks here. Could be an attachment of some sort in this deck here. This dark shadow. They were wearing a mask. Whoever this was was working out of their shadow primarily, right? That's the Wheel of Fortune in reverse with the moon in the upright. Something's turning around on them. They're getting some karma. Put that back. Wheel of Fortune. Okay, thank you. Embarrassed. Disgrace. They wanted to disgrace you. Maybe because you left them. They mistreated you. You left them out in the cold. They lied to you. You haven't spoken to them since. And ever since you cut your energy off from this person, they're getting a whack of karma here for all their lies and illusions, right? Maybe... You let them go. You don't seem to care. They're embarrassed and disgraced. Or they tried to do this to you. Five of Swords in reverse. They don't want this. They want to put their past hurts behind them. They don't want this, this, the, these, uh, um, this conflict in their world, right? Oh, they're having financial difficulties. They could have been very codependent and clingy. They're unstable and insecure. Very jealous. Very um, greedy and selfish. Maybe they weren't single when you were with them. I don't know. A lot of lies. A lot of lies. Yeah. He's, they're unstable since you divorced them or separated from them. They didn't want traditional relationships. They had no faith. I don't know. Take it as it applies. Maybe they called you crazy because you you talked to the divine. I got that. Because you, you have a spiritual gift. You're crazy. You're unstable. <laughs> I assure you I have more sin than the people that accused me. Okay. Why is the Nine of Pentacles in the reverse, please? Yeah, speaking some truth, seeing some truths, coming out of denial. If you were mentally conflicted, you are not now. Or they see you're not mentally conflicted, if that's the story. They're they're really worried here, Nine of Swords. They're not eating, not sleeping, they're overthinking, they're very worried, right? They're, they're stressed, they're burdened. Um, that's Nine out of Ten Swords. That's... That's hell, yeah, they lied. You could be, yeah, but okay, so the truth is, is you were dealing with a narcissist, possibly. So they said you were unstable. Oh, look at this. Because they, they do tend to play a lot of mind games, right? Gaslighting stuff. Um, it's evil, okay, what they do. And it depends on how bad, I mean, everybody's story is bad. I get it. Nobody's worse than the other, but... Somebody could have used that as an excuse to say you were unstable because, you know, you're fresh out of this relationship. You need time to heal. Oh, they're crazy. Oh, they're crazy. Look at this. They have PTSD. Let's lock them up. Let's take control of their money. Now, they wanted to stop you or something. There's truth and clarity coming out. Somebody was out of control. They don't want to take accountability. Could have been a setup. I mean, it could be people around you. That set you up with this narcissist. This was, they were all gaslighting you. Who knows? You know, poke the bear and then tape record you. Look at this person's nuts. <laughs> and then why am I talking like a baby? It bothers somebody out there, apparently. Well, if you're that triggered by my voice talking like a little baby, that means you need to heal something, right? The problem's not me. The problem is you. If you don't like me, that's fine. Move on, move on. Bye, 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 bye. Okay? Okay. So this is somebody that's a pathological liar. They're your, uh, they're a user, an abuser. They're cold. They're calculating. They're cruel. They're abusive, mentally, verbally abusive. Yeah, there's no love here. Ace of Cups, right? There's no love here. No emotional fulfillment or support. Just emotionally draining. You're giving a couple love out to other people. Mm -hmm. So that sounds like a narcissist. That's what they do. Getting ready for to replace you. The new supply, Ace of Cups in reverse. Before they discard you and do that smear campaign, yeah, it's bearing false witnesses, smear campaign, right? Uh, out of money, you're not giving them any money. Maybe this relationship was, they just wanted money, right? You hail me as a god and you pay my way and you, you know, make me look good and I get to trample you forever and forevermore and I will ruin your life. And you're going to like it. That's what a narcissist does and says, right? In essence, right? And you kiss my ass and everybody's to blame but me. Yeah. No, I don't think so. <laughs> it's not going to work here. Page of Pentacles. This person's very lazy and disrespectful. Ace of Cups in reverse. 
They don't give you no love if you don't give them no money. You know, they play around here, play your energy, Knight of Wands in the upright. It's not wish fulfillment, okay? Could have gotten sick. You don't trust this person anymore. You have no faith in this anymore. They wanted you to lose hope so they can take some action. Get some action going here, Knight of Wands in the upright. Yeah. They want to be an emperor. Are they, though? Are they? They want power and control. It's all about the, the wand, okay? Player energy. It's no love. It's just lust, right? Yep. Missed opportunity. Feeling sorry for themselves. Bored and dissatisfied with life. How dare you ignore me? They ignored the gift from the divine, which was you. They wanted the third parties, the karmics, the temporary people and things. Things that don't matter, they don't last. And now they're sitting there bored, dissatisfied, because obviously you've moved on. You've healed. Their little ploys or gaslighting doesn't work. You're telling the truth about this person. Possibly maybe people are seeing the truth. People aren't talking to them anymore. They're being you know, no action no more, right? I remember the last per last narcissist I was dealing with called me a couple of months after I left. Drunk. Yeah. Liquid courage, right? Can't face me um, on, on, you know. I disturb him, I guess. But um, had the nerve to say that... Um, yeah, I'm not having sex with nobody. Poor me. <laughs> I have nobody to do anything with anymore. You're not here anymore. Like, fuck off, okay? Y yeah, you know how narcissists like, really? After what you did to me, you're going to talk to me and tell me that you have no one to use your dick? That's exactly what he said. I have no one to use my dick with anymore. Everybody's left. Good. Good. Feeling sorry for yourself? Good. I know, that's too a little graphic. But that's the truth, yeah. Unrequited love. Wow. Left alone. Poor judgment here. I think everybody's figured this person out. Right? Lack of awareness, acceptance, and accountability. They're getting karma. So, for all of the hurt people, they and, and the games and the lies and the gaslighting and the taking, they're getting their comeuppance. No resurrection here. Okay? Yeah. They're not happy. Oh, no, no emotional fulfillment or happiness. How can they be emotionally fulfilled if they have no emotions? They play act. They put on these emotions. They watch people. They, they, they're, they're great actors, right? They see how people emote. And they, in turn, they don't feel the emotions. They emote them. They just act. Yeah. They kept repeating a bad pattern of behavior. Didn't want to learn a lesson while well, it's come back on them now. Right? This is not a win. It's over for them. Whew. Damn. People are letting them go right, left, right, and center. They got the, this person's number. I think this narcissist. So that's your past. Okay? I'm getting the impression that because the high priestess is here, um, whoever this is, male or female, um, went through this horrible narcissistic relationship. And it's come to an end, but you had to get through it with your wits, with your intuition. Nobody's speaking the truth to you. <laughs> and you got through it. The divine brought you through it, right? Thank God. Thank the divine and your spirit team. You know? They don't lie to you. People lie. Energy, the cards don't lie. People lie. So there's a change here. It's a death and rebirth for you. Yeah. They're stuck in their head. Or they're bound to whatever they did. Or they could be getting arrested for something. Yeah, this is greed. Materialism, corruption, abuse of power, and abuse of authority. Um, they were very jealous and unstable. Yeah, this is, they're losing their mind, okay? <laughs> I mean, narcissism is a mental illness. Somehow, they were playing mind games with you. I think this is more, the, there's more to the story here. Um, they, 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 they did this on purpose to get to your money or to get you locked up somewhere. Um, something like that. Yeah. So they're going to have a new beginning so somewhere else, right? Somebody was a fool. Uh, they didn't want you moving on. They didn't want your ships coming in, right? They didn't want, they didn't want to let go. It didn't serve. They didn't foresee what was going to happen here. They didn't think that you were going to get away with this, you know, get away from them. They thought they were going to get away with, with this, right? So... I don't know. They're scared. They're nervous here. You have con um, direct con contact with 
with the divine. You have conscious awareness. You have everything you need for success. Um, you're going to be taking some action. They're scared you're going to take some action against them and or the divine here. But um, there were illusions here. Sleight of hand and trickery. They're scared you're going to go into your um, real partnership here with your divine, whether it's a past life soulmate and or twin. And they're having a, a hissy fit here. You're manifesting your your true your true partner, and they're this is gut this is tearing them apart. This is gutting them. You know, it's not a matter of they love you because they don't feel these emotions. It's a matter of them losing. You know what I'm saying? You don't leave. You don't leave a narcissist. They leave you after they destroy you and they um, devalue you and sm do that smear campaign, right? And re they replace you. You know, they have to re ruin you. How dare you do better than them after a breakup, right? Because that means that they're the losers, right? So you're showing the world what kind of person they were by doing well, by loving yourself. And you're going into your true partnership now. How dare you? Yeah, an offer's coming in. They know it. Don't know how they know it. Maybe they know the person. A long time is going by, or you haven't spoken to this person. You've made it to the finish line, let's say that, because the, the Knight of uh, Pentacles in the Upright is the slowest moving knight in the deck, but it's the only one that makes it to the end. The only one you want to deal with out of the four knights, because you know, the four knights are, you know, they're, they're all right and everything, but they don't make it to the end. You know, this this has got this person's got integrity, loyalty, honesty, patience, and practicality. They're very careful. They, they don't break their promises. They follow through here. They mean what they say and they say what they mean, right? They're coming in with an offer. The five of cups is beneath the deck here in reverse. They want to put some past hurts behind. Don't get confused, okay? Don't listen to their words. They're good at gaslighting. All right? They're just jealous. They want to ward off this other person coming in. They're jealous. They paid somebody to devalue you. Wow. To lie about you. They're jealous. They're vindictive and vile. Or maybe they paid two people to do this. This is two karmic people here. Very jealous. They don't want you moving on. They don't want to let go of you for some reason. They thought they you'd come back. Oh yeah, they'll go to great lengths to devalue an empress if you're an empress. <clears throat> Called you a bad mother, promiscuous. They lied. Greedy, selfish, self-absorbed, self karmic, chaotic, possessive. Yeah, they, they said it all, right? A lot of confusion here. Said you had multiple partners. They lied. They lied. They lied in court. They lied about your um, marriage. It was them. Whatever a, a narcissist accuses you of, it's what they've done themselves, okay? While they were married. So, yeah. Hmm. They devalued you, okay? They lied. They were jealous. They were vindictive and vile. They had multiple partners here. Could have greased some hands in court if it was a court setting, the divorce or something like this, to, to say these things because they want your money, right? You're unstable. They want to take the house from you. Yeah, there's a lot of money here. Family. So they were working with your family to say you were unstable, trying to get your... Um, this could be an inheritance, life insurance. It could be whatever this is, long-term stability. Managing your business, managing your home, your money. Yeah. Wow. Because you have it, you're, you're successful, you wish fulfillment. See the sirens in the background? <laughs> you have long term stability. This could be generational wealth. This could be a legacy. It could have been pairing up in court secretly, you know, bribing people to lie. Wow. I think it has to do with the other reads we've done before. It's just the culmination. I think the truth is now here. Okay. Could have said that you're spiritual, but they're religion or they're religious. I could say that you don't know what you're talking about here. This is oh, they're confusing. They don't know anything. No, religion and spirituality are not alike. Yeah, this was an injustice that was done to you. It was wasn't fair. It was immoral or criminal. A lot of egregious gossip. You parted ways with these people. You're not doing this. Yeah, you're not doing this. They're all toxic, okay? Family, friends, ex, they're all toxic. Watching you from a distance. They want to ruin you. They want, they're want. they bound to the devil. This could be a disbanding of a coven as well. This could be, they hired a coven. You're stable and secure. You're, you're not bothered, male or female. 
You know your value and your worth. You have integrity, loyalty, and honesty. You're hardworking. You're abundant, okay? You're independent. You don't need these. They're so jealous. I feel like, yeah. So you, you got your stability back somehow really quick. If if you did have to go through whatever, something's going, somebody's a reckless fool. They they thought you were naive. They're angry, maybe. This could be somebody coming in. Fast communication, fast action. How, how are we ending the week, please, Spirit? Yep, they want to make up. They want to reconcile. They have to balance something out with you. You could be an earth angel. Wow. They're watching you. They're spying on you. Delayed communication. They want to put some past hurts behind them and heal this. They've seen that you've healed. Oh, this person's not unstable. Oh, what am I going to say now? How am I going to get their money? How am I going to ruin their life now? Yes, I'm talking to a baby because it bothers you. How do you like them apples? Because other people don't. Another person doesn't like me saying that. Yeah, they had no integrity, loyalty, and honesty. They lost control of the situation. They're scared here. They're scared because you're highly intuitive. Wow. You know. You know. You know. You know what they've been up to. Strength and reverse. You intimidate them. Good. You're very balanced. You're very healing. You're very patient. It could be an investigation. And somebody's, yeah, you're very protected too. They're gunning for you. They could be taking pot shots at you, like we saw. Um, oh, no, that was the last time. Sorry, they could be, um, yeah, taking pot shots at you online. Um, gunning for you. You had a higher perspective. You knew what they were doing, right? You had the advantage. This is spiritual protection. Or you're being protected by this partner, this new partner coming in. Who loves you? Who has deep feelings for you? You can't tell, by the way, their face looks, right? They're very stoic. Typically, King of Cups in the upright. They love very, very deeply. They're not going to wear their heart on their sleeve, though, right? They're very stoic, but you see the water, it's churning. They could have a platform if you're a reader. You could both of them be pl uh, platforms, but... When a king of cups, male or female, loves you, they love very deeply. And they're very <clears throat> helpful. And they don't announce what they're going to do. They just do it. They do what's best. It could be a father figure. It doesn't have to be. It could be a female, like I said. Um, they give great advice. Not always do they listen to their own advice, but they're well-meaning. Um, yeah, they're going to call you. They're going to contact you. Page of Wands, good news. Tell you the truth as to what was going on. Maybe some, some hired some dark high priestesses to do some work in you. There was talk, maybe a lot of shit talking. So they're going to tell you what's been said. I think you already know. I think you're highly intuitive that both of you are, okay? Because we saw the high priestess, um, <clears throat> or the two, I should say. Right here, this card, number two. But uh, the king of Pentacle, uh, king of cups in the upright is also highly intuitive and psychic. So you guys are mirroring each other. Okay. This person sees you uh, in a whole new light. They're assessing you possibly. Um, they want to call you. Yeah, wish fulfillment. But both of you could be out in the public eye. You're going to be traveling maybe right at a distance. Yeah. The ships are coming in here. Okay, you're moving on. You're going to be expanding your horizons here. And somebody was jealous. Uh, somebody at a distance was doing black magic, possibly. It doesn't have to be, but somebody was very jealous, right? Yeah. You're trying to scam me. They were plotting and planning. So you got to find out. This person's going to tell you something. Maybe they, they learned something about these people. But, yeah, about your ex. You parted ways. They're being exposed here. End of a collaboration. Your ex and their family and their friends or something, right? You mastered yourself. They were working black magic here. They were, yeah. Yeah. They wanted your money. They wanted your stability. They wanted your gifts, possibly. Lying, cheating, and or stealing. This is reckless, careless, and foolish. So somebody, maybe he has something to do with high priests or priests or card readers. Maybe he's, who knows? Maybe it's a card reader wanting your gifts. Maybe they don't have gifts. I don't know. I think that supplies. Keeper of the scales, fairness, balance. So this is justice. 38 is 11 in tarot. Justice is here. Somebody's getting their comeuppance. Could be a high priestess, priest, male or female. Um, you have a high intuition, though. You're very balanced. Uh, you're coming into contact with another one that has, maybe it's here on YouTube, I don't know. Could have a platform or something. Could be a reader. Doesn't have to be. Could be all readers. I don't know. Okay, you know your own story, but somebody likes you. 
Someone likes you, romance is blooming, fun, flirting, want a date. Congratulations, I'm very happy for you. Because if you both have the same interests, the both the same skill set, you you understand one another. If I know myself doing what I'm doing here, not everybody understands it. So to date somebody that is not privy to this and or doesn't understand it, it would be next to impossible for me to, you know what I mean? It wouldn't work. Put it that way. So the Rainbow Prince, compensation, perseverance. You persevered. You went through a lot. 26, that's eight. You had integrity, loyalty, and honesty. You made, this was a covenant that was um, made in the ethers, either this relationship, this I, I believe it is a past life soulmate and or a twin. And the divines also made you a, a promise to to compensate you for all the trouble you've gone through. And I mean, it's, I'm not, I'm, 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 it's, I'm saying it glibly. It's not just trouble that you went through. It's it, hell and back, right? Alone in the world. You possibly felt alone in, in the world, right? I get it. But you used your higher wisdom. Uh, this is, you're deciding. This is also six lovers in the upright. You're, you're coming into a sacred union. It's a beautiful. Date. Meeting someone new. Getting back out there. Plan, set a date. It's beautiful. I, I can't stress it enough. Angels, how are we ending the read, please, for today? What is the message for the collective? What would you like them to know, please? What's the end result here? Thank you. So we have a four of cups. It came out in the reverse. So you know your value and worth. People are seeing your value and worth. Seizing an opportunity missed and or um, ignored in the past. So maybe you've crossed paths briefly and somebody missed an opportunity to be with you or speak to you. But somebody's left out in the cold feeling sorry for themselves, feeling rejected. This is the ex and or family and or friends that were involved. 23, so that's five here offense. So there's a relationship, a commitment, a contract. This could be a, a spiritual contract you're dealing with or the divine <clears throat> or spirituality or, or religion. God, the God deflecting evil, healing capacity, protection from weapons, safety, and travel. So you, I think you're going to be traveling to see this person, Four Swords. Somebody's very worried. I'm not worried, sorry. Somebody took the time to heal Four Swords in the upright. Um, contemplate. They need to put something to rest. They're praying. Um, strategizing. Ha ha hell. 41. Five again. Five, five. Expect the unexpected, okay? Um, there's change here. The God of Trinity. Mission, protects against slander and impious people. I'm telling you, people were saying shit about you, right? They were talking shit. But you were protected here. Again, that's another platform, so it could be something to do with platforms. I don't know. So you have a mission here on Earth. You both do. And you're being protected by the worst of it. Seven Swords, they were lying, cheating, and or stealing at Manico. 66. 5566. Five, six. Wow. So that's the 12. They wanted you, you stuck struggling. They don't want to let, let you go. Um, they, they were wasting your time. God nurturing and maintaining everything. They're unhealed and unawakened, okay? Um, knowledge of good and evil appeases divine anger and cures epilepsy. So the divine was angry. I get it. Right? People got in the way of um, these, these people who had a mission for the divine, in service to the divine. So if you, you incurred the wrath of God, yeah, your karma's not going to be so great right now. Six of Cups. Past life soulmate. See Leah, 45, going within, doing that soul work, right? Shadow work. They were finding stuff out. Could be an investigation. They were hiding, cloaking stuff. God who stirs all men. Motivation lifts up those who are fallen and humiliated. Could be, I'm, I'm picking up past life. It, it has something to do with children, siblings, somebody from your past. Uh, they want to reconcile, a reconciliation. But it's, remember, Seven of Swords is right here. So they're going to be lying. So if this narcissist comes back and wants to reconcile, there's a, there's a reason other than love. Nine of Cups, right? Wish fulfillment here. They think you're a fool. Yeah. They want, fulfills any request, fortune and fame. That's what they want from you, Okay. You have a new beginning. You manifested it. And you, they know that you might be coming into fortune and fame. So this narcissist is going to try to come back. Will and new beginnings assist with difficult and great undertakings. Nine of Cups. Wish fulfillment. You are wish fulfillment. You have div um, you have success and achievement. Right? 68. You're an earth angel. That's 14. Earth angel and tarot. Habuia. Nine of Cups. Healing. Preserves health and cures diseases. So you've healed from this. You have a new beginning. The fool. 
It's beautiful. You're wiping the, the slate clean. You're innocent. So whatever they accused you of or said you did or said who, you know, as, you know, told people you were this, that, and the other thing, it's all lies. It's what they are. Spirit guides, guardian angel. I mean, you're not perfect. Nobody's perfect, right? In the 3D, we're all, we're all human here. But I mean, you're certainly not what they described to you, okay? And yeah, we all have faults and, and flaws and stuff, and we're perfectly flawed, by the way. But our faults and stuff, they're given to us so we can learn to rise above it and change and, you know what I mean? And you're not the same person you were three years ago. You're not the person you were three minutes ago. We're always elevating. So if you knew somebody 10 years ago and go, oh, this person was that and this person was that and you see them today and they're totally not that and you're going, oh, they're putting on an act. No, they're not. Believe it, okay? People do change. That's why we go through the dark night of the soul. Going, walking through that fire, right? Purification. A baptism by fire. That's what it's all about. So you never say people don't change. They do. Some don't. If you want to stay in a toxic situation, yeah, no, but, yeah, but it'd be obvious if they haven't changed. Be doing the same thing. Drugs, alcohol, lying, cheating, whatever, right? Spirit guides, guardian angels, ancestors, like I have been in this day, please. Message in a bottle. So somebody's going to message you. Remember, be careful. Because you're coming, it's coming close to being with that one. So the devil's going to bring out, that's 15 devil, right? Going to bring out their... His minions to try to stop you. There's going to be a message from your ex who's a narcissist who is toxic, jealous. Go the distance, 47. This is just uh, uh, justice. 47 is 11 tarot. So bottom of the deck, you're getting your justice, right? They don't want you making it to the finish line, but you're going to, okay? Go the distance. They're going to try to message you and dissuade you. Clean it up. So don't clean up whatever the mess they made. They don't want this to end 21, right? That's the world in reverse. They want to come back. They keep repeating bad cycles of behavior, not wanting to uh, change their ways or, 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 or rise above their heel, right? They don't want to learn their lessons. It's time for them to clean it up, not for you to help them clean it up either, okay? So you help them clean up their mess. You're just incurring their karma. You don't need that bullshit, okay? You had enough. 15. You have to be, you have to be like... That's where I'm at in my life right now. It is what it is. I'm going to speak my truth. Um, before, I didn't want to make ways. I didn't want to make people uncomfortable, but sometimes you need to, right? You have to speak your truth. Message in a bottle. Communication. A sign. A cleden. The ancient name for a spontaneous oracle delivered innocently by the speaker. Pointing the way to your highest good. The oracle's message. Spirit sends you signs when you ask for them. When you believe, you will receive them. And when you allow yourself to become fluent in language of symbols, oracles, and omens, they may come to you as a bird flying by, a logo on a truck, and a song on the radio. Expect confirmation that you're pointed in the right direction. Keep your ears open, for someone might say just the right thing that will give you the answer to your query. Today, your message is this. Spirit hears you, and the reply is favorable. 47. Congratulations, okay? Just stay strong. It's, you're almost there. You're almost there. Go the distance, endurance, strength, the long haul. The Oracle's message, to bring your dream to life, you must think long-term and pay no attention to the fluctuations in the current of your experience. Joy and disappointment commingle with opportunities, so there is no need to fear the occasional obstacle. Life is not a sprint. This card is a reminder that you have endurance, strength, and fortitude to carry you all the way. Remain true to yourself. Your authenticity alone will keep you in alignment with the energy of miracles. What is yours will never be withheld from you. Remember that. So it doesn't matter how old you are. Oh, I'm too old for this. Nah, 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 nah. Okay? Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter where you are, where you live, where you come from. Doesn't matter what you do. If it is meant for you, it is meant for you. Come hell or high water. The divine shall make it so. I hope this helps. Congratulations, so you right there at that finish line. <laughs> now the new phase starts. Now your actual mission starts. What you're meant to do together. Raise the vibrations. You can go into teaching. You can go into um, law, you know, change some laws. You can go into cleaning up the environment. You can, Anything. Everybody's story is different, but together you're so much stronger. A powerhouse, a power couple. You're strong on your own. Don't get me wrong. Okay, you don't, it's free will, you don't have to, but 
It doesn't have to be romance either. If it's a twin, it doesn't have to be romance. It doesn't have to be love. It could be friends. It could be workmates. Okay, so people go, I'm not, I don't want a relationship. I get it. I get it. Just bear that in mind. Keep your mind open, okay? It doesn't have to be a relationship. It could be friends. It can be business. But you need to be together, okay, to do this. I hope this helps. Please like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, take care.